Hello and welcome to Billing Metals channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about a very interesting phenomenon uh, called amethyst glass. So it's um, solarized or sun-colored glass. Um, back in the old days, to make clear glass like this, that's a white crow sauce bottle, around about 1910 or so, uh, you would add a chemical called manganese oxide, manganese dioxide, to the glass as a decolorizing agent. So your natural glass is uh, generally green or aqua shade. Interesting thing about manganese dioxide, uh, in the glass it decolorizes it. It's quite a complex process uh, involving reduction and um, oxidization of the iron that colors the glass. If you uh, expose glass like this, nice and clear, to ultraviolet light for a lengthy period of time, it eventually goes from this to this, nice and purple, or pinky purple. So it's yeah, sun-coloured glass, amethyst glass, whatever you would like to call it. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a experiment by putting a couple of bottles. Uh, this one, this bottle is a what they call a cod bottle, a marble uh, sealed bottle. They're a very popular aerated water patent from um, the 1870s through to about the 1930s, 1940s even in some areas. So that is very clear glass, there's not a hint of colour in that, and that should turn. It's not in great condition, but it'll be a good one to, uh, to demonstrate how the, uh, the effect works. And for something a bit different, I have, this is about from around about 1900, it's a little bit damaged, but that's the, uh, the base of a lamp. So you would have had a, a wick and a little metal contraption there, and walked around with your, uh, your oil lamp. So we're going to go and stick these on the roof of our shearing shed. And then uh, we'll check back once a week for the next several months and see what happens. <coughs> yeah, so we've got our bottles on the roof. Uh, I've painted that patch white. Um, it's a bit windy out here, but uh, nice and bright and sunny. You can see the colours in it. We'll check back and uh, see how they're going in a week and so on and so forth. Um, not going to be getting a job as a painter anytime soon, but uh, that white will help shake the colours off a bit. Okay, so they've been here now for a little bit over nine months, almost ten months. You can see there's a bit of bit of colour there. We'll get them down, clean them up, and uh, see just how purple they really are. Okay, so there's the results after nine months in the sun. Well, mostly sun. It hasn't been the most summery uh, year so far. It's gone a, a nice shade of pinky purple. Those dark spots there are the copper I used to clean it. They got stuck in the... Uh, in the inside of the room there, so they can stay there. Cod's gone a nice shade of pink. It'll take quite a lot longer in the sun to turn to a decent, uh, decent colour, I think. Uh, it's obviously very dependent on the amount of light they get, and also how much manganese oxide is in the glass as to just how dark your bottles will go. This one, after a couple of years in the sun, will go, no doubt, uh, quite a nice purple. This one will go really dark. Nine months is not long for this process. Uh, interestingly too, the uh, process of turning these bottles purple can be reversed. Uh, if you heat this glass up to a nice uh, cherry red colour, a dull cherry red, you'll um, get them back to clear glass. I wouldn't recommend that with your good bottles. Uh, if anyone's interested in seeing it, we can do a video of uh, heating up some glass to that sort of temperature. We'll get some nice purple glass, heat it up and turn it back to clear. Uh, it's also, I believe, we work on zapped glass, so irradiated glass. You see some collectors will uh, expose their bottles to radiation sources. Lucas Heights was the uh, the popular place, apparently. And, um, yeah, you get them a nice dark colour. Doesn't look quite as good as a natural colour, in my opinion. Looks a bit fake. But, uh, yeah, that's the process. <coughs> Stick them in the sun, bottle turn purple, and uh, you have prettier looking bottles. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if anyone wants to see a decolorizing video of the glass, let us know. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll be back soon.